what is up, YouTubers? Johnsy here, and welcome back to more of this game, uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. And uh, yeah, we're on floor 39, just about to go try to face off you know who again. And there's a Snorlax. I would gladly like to take that Snorlax, although I don't know who I really want to get rid of in this group. Um, if anything, I think Omanyte is probably the one I might boot out. No offense to Omanyte. Oh jeez, I'm almost out of hunger again. How did that happen? Well, okay. Oh, right. Uh, I do have the x-ray. Uh, so, Snorlax is over there. I have one apple left. Uh, maybe someone should go to the back. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're not gonna heal. Why are you there? Oh, my God. Just take care of them and then move on, please. Oh god. Uh, hang on. Okay, so over there by the left. Oh jeez, you're not even in the very back. Alrighty. So, luckily I've only died once and I've gotten an extra tiny reviver seed to help out. You son of a bitch, luckily I avoided that. Uh, just give a big apple. I would definitely love to have Snorlax on the team as well. Uh, so yeah. So I'll trade you with someone for sure. So we have Shelter, we have Ammonite, we have Sfeel, Kingler. Yeah, I think Ammonite might be the one to go. Yeah. Sorry, Ammonite. But, uh, Snorlax better. Okay, um, all the other items all the way over there. Okay. I'm just trying to plan out everything I can. Okay, Snorlax found his place in line. Uh, okay, someone's gonna come up behind us, but it looks like we can take a path if we go down or left. Probably down, maybe? Yeah, and someone is following us, unfortunately. Uh, oh yeah, we also have Flygon on the group right now as well. That's pretty handy. Uh, so yeah, I'm just trying to be careful. Okay, Asphelio. Do I not have Discharge anymore? No, I still have Discharge. I do have Thundershock, that's the real question, because I feel like I should use that instead. Well, okay, cool. Um, I have Seal still, so I'll definitely switch you out, actually. There's no point in having Seal if we have Celio. Red oh, you may have Powder Snow, though. I mean, I'm also just thinking it'd be because of the moves. Ah, uh, you'll evolve right away anyways. Yeah, if anything, Seal will pretty much evolve anyways. I know he's just a little bit higher level, but still. Okay, so there's that. Uh, yeah, so if you go up, that's our next way to go. I'm only trying to go towards the items uh, for the time being. Oh yeah, oh nice, power all, all power up orb. Might be handy. I'll probably activate an old dodge orb and then that. Okay, I know someone's following us. Thank you, Sam, for doing that. Thank you, uh, Electro, for doing that. And this has to be... There we go. Um, I don't think I'll even need that, but in case I sub room, I don't. Okay. I'll just leave it there then, because I really don't need it. Alrighty, here we go. Second try, baby, let's go. At least at this point, we also get all healed up, too. I'll actually read the dialogue, too, because I haven't actually did that last time. Grrr. Oh, never mind, we just go right into the fight. You know, oh, my power is bursting. My infinite power! See, yeah, we're all just underwater. How are we breathing? My duels against Groudon left us both exhausted. I took to a long and deep sleep. All this time I've waited, waited for my power to recover. And now, I am on the verge of regaining my power. I am Kyogre, the Lord of Sea. Witness my destructive force of my waves. Marvel my at my awesome power. Okay, but I'm ready. I have Frenzy Plant. I got double discharge. I am all set, ready to go. Look at this. We also have 
We also have like, uh, oh yeah, you do that first. But we also have a fly god. We got Keenler. We got a Snorlax, and then we have two others. Okay. I am worried about a couple Pokemon around, uh, so let's see where everyone's at. Okay, so the only... Ooh, I don't like that uh, Flygon's all the way over there, because he's the one that's actually the weakest in this case, but we do have a lot of Reviver Seeds still. I have I have so much, so let me just show you guys what I have, precisely. Uh, I'm gonna have to sort anyways. Um, yeah, I picked up a Gold Ribbon Scope that can be changed later. I never used the Stay Away Ron, I should have used that. Um, anyways, uh, oh yeah, I have the Empowerment Seed. I'll probably use that on, uh, Sam sometime soon. Uh, but yeah, okay. So you have the two tiny, you have the two Reviver Seeds right there. I have a whole page of tiny Reviver Seeds, so that's eight, and then plus four. So, eight plus four, that's twelve, and then two of these normal Reviver Seeds, that's fourteen Reviver Seeds in total. So, I think we'll be fine. Especially if we start off with an all dodge orb. Oh, nice, they're paralyzed too. Okay. Everyone doing good damage? Good. Okay. Now, I will use. an escape warp. No. And I'll power up orb, just because we have those now. So now we'll be all powered up, we can avoid moves easily. Oh wait, what? I thought Sam didn't have... Ha, nice. Ooh, but Body Slam, the Body Slam on Snorlax, that's actually really good. Okay. Uh, you seem paralyzed. Let me see... Okay, I can change into Sam, good, because I want... Zapdos to be able to do some hits as well. So, the next one I'm going to do is the Empowerment Seed. Because I haven't actually used this, and i actually rather use this as well. Alright, eat. Myself. Get ready to Mega Evolve! Look at this, I'm Mega Sam now. The Pokemon has been awakened, and its power link moves always result in a crit. Uh, and the damage is dealt, ignores the ability, and on uh, type matchups, some Pokemon might also Mega Evolve. Nice. Now he's slow too, perfect. Oh, nice, this is excellent. Okay, and then you're Primal, and we still haven't lost any seeds, by the way. We haven't lost any seeds. That is very good. We are doing excellent right now. This is way better than the first time around. I became more prepared. Alright, let's actually start off and do some frenzy plans. Okay, nice. 117. That's a good that's a good hit. Okay, damn, but that's fine. That's fine. We have this is our first one we used. We got 13 left. We are good. We are good, guys. Look, he's slow again. Everyone's doing their part. We have a good arsenal of Pokemon. Let me use Frenzy Plant once again. Because that is literally probably one of, one of the most powerful moves that we have right now. Oh, and I missed. The old power up, or the old Dodge Orb is still in effect, too. current went away. Uh, okay, didn't say anything about the old dodge orb being out now. Ooh, that was some nice damage right there. Oh boy. Okay, we are doing great right now. This is going... We did it! Yeah! We defeated Kyogre! Nice. Team Uni's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Kyogre. You can now access the seafloor cave camp and Kyogre joined your team. Whoa, that's a rare quality type formation. Do you want Ky uh, Kyogre anything? No. Woo! 
Nice! Sam Mega successfully made it through the stormy sea, finally! Also, don't, hopefully the music does not get in here. Okay, so we have Rainbow Gummy Attract, that's good for selling later. Another Rainbow Gummy. And another Solar Beam, that's really good. Okay, I think I really made a really good progress on this one. Alrighty, and everyone can join. Uh, we have Shelter moving up. That's pretty good. Yes, I want Shelter on the team. Everyone can join. Everyone's fine. Surprisingly, I did not run into any of the other starter water types again when I went through this dungeon again. Because you guys remember the last episode, I ran into some water types like Squirtle, Mudkip, and Totodile. I didn't see them at all. Not even Marsh Tom. Weird. Uh, we have Sfeel here as well. Finally, after kind of the last video, we didn't really decide to brain them because our team was full. And we have Kainler as well. Ooh. And we have Flygon. Flygon is actually a pretty high level Pokemon as well. Level 49. Get some good moves on Flygon. I can use him a lot more too. And also I'm probably going to have to get rid of Fabrava. And luckily now that I have two Solar Beam TMs, I can actually teach this one another Solar Beam. I'm just teaching all the different Trap Pinches and Vibrava. I'm just teaching this whole evolution line. Uh, okay. Uh, so no nickname. And then finally Snorlax, who's not that powerful, but you know, we don't need to get a... We don't need to get a good Pokemon, like, a uh, Munchlax later down the line. Uh, yes, I want Snorlax to join. Snorlax is cool. Alrighty. What's next after Stormy Sea? The next morning... Oh, we didn't even get a good morning thing. Funny enough, that happened last episode, but we I thought it was because we just escaped. So what's new now? We defeated, um... We defeated Kyogre. Now what? Extra, extra, read all about it! My mailbox is full. <laughs> now it has more. Extra? I wonder what it says. Let's check it out. Sam reads the extra edition. Pokemon News Extra. Uh, buried relic discovered. Received ruin found underground. A crater caused a meteor strike has revealed these ancient ruins. The Baric relic is though to date back beyond record history. There are rumors of treasure, and perhaps even Pokemon that live in, in ancient times. Funny enough, we already have a couple Pokemon that live in ancient times. Or at least one. There was like, uh... Actually, no, we have two. We have Kapootops, and then... Uh... It was like that little bug one as well. We have him as well. We, we already have a couple. Uh, the Buried Relic is in the main topic in Pokemon Square. Wow, Meteor strikes undercover an underground ruin, and there are rumors of treasure. Jonza, this is so exciting. Let's go to the square and find out more. Sure. You see, there's still a little plot in here. The plot thickens. Um, I guess we just talk. Hey, have you heard about the buried relic? They've rumored that there are treasures in there, and they have say that treasures aren't just lying around on the ground. I know, they're saying, they're saying that treasure are even embedded in the walls. If you knock down the walls, there might be some tre treasure gold. Uh, sounds really enchanting, huh? I think Shift Tree knows where the Barrack Ruler is. That's cool. Uh, what's up? I heard rumors that... Uh, Pokemon ancient times live in the pair of relics. Interesting. Uh, there's also the Magmite. That's interesting. Where is Shift Tree? Oh, like Shift Tree not to be around. Shift Tree. Oh, there you are. What's that? Where's the buried relic? Uh, the buried relic is deep in the jungle to the south. Are you dreaming about the treasure too? <laughs> Me too. Best of luck compared. Uh, okay, uh, leaving aside the disjumbling the fact that Shiftry called them Comparex, Johns' team gained access to the Barrack Relic. Okay, well actually I want to at least see um, how many floors this thing is. 
I don't know if we're gonna have another boss in here because we I mean that's what happened last time. So a new area is discovered. I yi yi And you want me to go through that completely? It's like a have to in order to continue the story. 99 floors. Okay, Pokemon can join. Uh, map accessible, items accept accessible. Oh boy. I'm gonna really need, need to prepare before that, so I'm probably gonna save that for a later day. I will probably do that in the next episode. Or maybe Magma Cavern in the next episode because if we have uh, Kyogre, we can easily go and get Groudon as well. But yeah, Jesus. Alrighty. Uh, oh yeah, wait, there's... Well, let me actually dump everything I have. Okay. Uh, let's store. Uh, everything for now, and then grab everything we need to sell as well, because I know I have a couple of selling items. Uh, so there's you... I didn't even I didn't even equip the Geo Pebbles. There's a lot of stuff I've extra prepared for, but still, uh, I'm gonna grab you as well. Um, let's see. Uh, well, I I'm just grabbing Solar Beam so I can teach it. Um, let's see. Uh, you I can use. I have ten empowerment seeds. It's quite interesting. I still have six to- uh, yeah, I'm gonna need to, uh, like, fill up on Tiny Reviver Seeds as well. Uh... Huh. I guess that's everything, especially, like, for sale or whatever, so... Just one of each. That's fine. But, you know, not bad, though. We really prepared for that. And now... Rock up to the coffee house shop. Let's sell. Sell first and then buy. So you and then you. That's a lot of money we got as well. Man. Uh, okay. So buy items. Let's see what you have. Another escape orb. We have another one shot orb as well. Uh, I think those are the only ones I really want to buy. So I'll take those. We take those. And then over here we have you. Oh, how exciting it can now. Alright, what? Okay, you have a solar beam, but I already have two of them. A uh, brutal swing. It's not too bad to have that just in case. Uh, what's the info on Fire Blast? Um, yeah, it, I guess it's just that the accuracy is kind of low. I could get Fire Blast, but I don't know if I really need it. Brutal Swin, on the other hand, might be useful, so I'll grab that and see if maybe I can teach that to someone. Because Brutal Swin is pretty handy, honestly, especially since I've been using it most, most of the series. Like, literally, didn't I have that on this Marowak since it was a Cubone, like, at the very beginning? Like, man. Okay, uh, first off, let's learn Solar Beam to, um, Flygon. I also gotta get rid of some Pokemon. We have Snorlax. And, uh, don't mind the music, I'm gonna try to talk over it because people don't know how to shut up music while it's on. Because I need to actually concentrate. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, go over here. Solar Beam, okay, gonna keep talking so music doesn't enter. And, uh, yeah, get rid of Sand Attack, because Sand Attack, useless, useless, cool. Okay, cool, it stops. Um, uh, we can learn Brutal Swing. <laughs> Mitchell can learn Brutal Swing, uh, so can Arbok, but I like the join moves of Fire, Ice, and Electric, so I'll keep that. Not a lot of Pokemon can learn this move, apparently. Uh, we have you, but I don't know when I'm gonna use you next. Dragonair can learn it. Be interesting to have that on Dragonite. Ooh, Gliscor. I mean... Gliscor already has a lot of close moves. I know Night Slash is probably the strongest, but like... The rest are front and they're already all powerful as well. So yeah, you know what, I'll use Bru I'll, I'll grab Brutal Swain, why not? And then maybe I'll try to bring uh, Gliscor on me with me to the next um, place we go. I'm pro probably for the rest of this episode, I'm probably just gonna do some shit around town. 
So, I don't know, if you guys just want to stick around and uh, see what changes I do, then, uh, you know, much obliged. Uh, let's remember. Okay, so, you're all fine. What can you learn? Because apparently you have a lot. Oh my god, you have a lot of moves. What the hell? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Silver wind is helpful. It does everywhere in the room. But the... Okay. Uh, side beam would be also pretty good. Just saying. I probably won't do, like, all of these right now, but, like, maybe I'll do some... So I'll just, like, edit around Pokemon that really need a certain change. I didn't get any, um, oh, you do nearby Pokemon. That's also pretty handy. Uh, I guess Tackle's not even that powerful. But you're also not that powerful. Just so we have an even amount of moves. Because I know, like, Sam, for instance, has three grass-type moves and stuff. I don't want to keep doing that, though. Uh, Confusion and Gust, eh fine for now. Uh, who else? Oh yeah, we have Kyogre now. You actually have a good line of moves. I don't think we really need to change you, but yeah, the only other thing you do have is Aqua Tail, but still, all the other moves are pretty fun anyways. Um, what about Maintain? I haven't actually checked Maintain in a while. Uh, just the same old moves. Bagon has quite a good move set. Dragon Claw? Huh. I don't know, I mean, I do like Dragon Claw, but like, I don't know. Okay, so Headbutt, it's just as good as Headbutt. Um, uh, yeah. Crunch is also just as good. Ember, I mean, having another type of move is good, but we already have a ranged one, so I... If anything, I could probably relearn another fire type move eventually, so I'll we'll just switch Ember for Dragon Claw, just because it's a weaker move, anyways. Um, yeah, like this one, I'm probably this snow run. I'm thinking of evolving into Glalie. I could evolve this one into one already, but like, here's my thing: we're Shadow Ball. Unless I get it in TMs or something, or maybe I can buy it as a move. I think I will wait. Uh, you're all good. We also have Anorith. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. The one that we have already. Uh, let's see what else you have. Bug Buzz, nearby Pokemon. Um, what else do you have? You have Boom Burst. All except user. Okay, never mind. I'm not doing that. Uh, Earthquake, all except user. Dragon Rush. That's a pretty powerful dragon type move. Uh, we also have Dragon Claw and Dragon Tail. Hyper Beam. You can learn a lot of moves. And Dragon Dance. Oh my god, that's actually really handy. Maybe I might use this plus a pretty powerful attack, maybe. Like, because um, I know my cases, I normally don't use these type of moves th that often, but. I've seen Link moves in action with these kind of moves, and it's actually quite helpful, actually, because it's like your regular move, and then you add in the other effect as well. I mean, really, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I mean, you have Solar Beam, you have, uh, Super Power is right in front. Um, what about move detail? Unleashes an awesome damage, uh, but also lowers your attack and defense. Okay, probably not. Guess we'll add in Bug Buzz. You I definitely want to mess around with for sure. Uh, I guess Faint Attack's not really that good. But maybe because since I have Solar Beam, I know it's a risky move with just having Solar Beam because it takes like another turn. Like it takes two turns to do things. But since I have like some Dragon type moves that are pretty powerful as well. Like Dragon Rush? Like, okay. Uh. It damages an enemy, it could also cause an enemy to flinch. I mean, honestly, that's a really good move, honestly. Let's, yeah, let's replace Dragon Breath with Dragon Rush. And, like, link Dragon Rush and Dragon uh, Dance together. Like, honestly, that's a really good combo right there. You get powered up and you can use a very powerful move as well. I mean, that's really good. I think you're good. You're being 
sent away. I mean, Earth Power. Do you know Earth Power? Because if so, I'll definitely get rid of another Boo. Bulldoze is just nearby Pokemon. I might replace you, actually. Well, actually, maybe not. I just saw your accuracy. There it is, Earth Power. Uh, yeah. I'll use this, because then he can use a move that's all around, other than just nearby Pokemon. So, yeah. Because I, I just saw that on Vibrava, so I'm like, yeah, maybe this is a better thing to do. Definitely not Boom Burst. Okay. Um, right, another Pokemon I at least wanted to check on was... Uh, it was Snorlax. I wanted to check. Yeah, there he is. Snorlax. Let's see. Huh. Not a lot of good of extra moves, I have to say. Metronome. Fuck it, let's put it on. Uh, let's get rid of Defense Girl. Might be help. Might be useful. Just a uh, random move for like a last minute help or something. It could screw me, but hey, it's fun. Uh, okay, I think that's it for Snorlax. Okay, um, I think that's all I really want to do for... Uh, added moves together, I guess. I don't really think there's anything else I really want to do. Um, for now. But, uh, let's uh, do some other things. Like, I wanted to link the, uh, move for, uh, Flygon, like I was just explaining earlier. Okay, Link. Uh, let's do Dragon Dance first, and then, yeah, because you want to use Dragon Dance first, just so the second hit, the second move is literally a powerful hit. And actually, it has the same amount of PP, so it actually helps out a lot. Link those moves. Dragon Dance and Dragon Rush. Yeah, that's a really good move. That is really good. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Uh, another thing, I just want to see what moves I can learn for some certain Pokemon. Yeah, I know, it costs money. That's fine. I have some money. Uh, I want to check out Snorlax, see what you can learn. I feel like you can learn a lot of moves. Oh my god. Look at this entourage of moves. Freaking Iron Head, Seed Bump, Gunk Shot, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Water Pulse, Shockwave, Focus Punch, Zen Head, but Icy Wind, Super Power, Stomping Tantrum, Outrage, Snorlax can learn a huge variety of moves. Like, look at all this. Pretty handy. Um, I don't know if I want to put that on him yet. Uh, but we'll see about everybody else. What can you learn? Uh, Signal Beam, uh, Shockwave, Liquidation. What's the move? Huh. Okay, interesting. Doesn't even do that much. Okay, and that's pretty much all the moves. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that yet. I want, wanted to keep looking through and see what I could for some certain Pokemon. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Like, who's powerful right now? Uh, you guys are powerful, but you're already legendaries. You're already powerful. There's also Gliscor. I think I grabbed Fire Fang from this. And I think I did. Uh, let's see. Haircut? Ursaring. You have a good round of moves. What do you have? You can learn the freaking move. Oh my god, you can learn almost the same amount of stuff as freaking Snorlax. It's funny as hell. Uh, but yeah. Um. Anyone else I really want to focus on? Oh, I can evolve Aeron, actually. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, what about Flygon? I mean, I know I already have these moves, but... You can learn Thunder Punch and Fire Punch, Iron Tail, Dragon Pulse, Draco Meteor. The entire room. Any Pokemon. Uh, it has low accuracy. What else does it do? Sharply lowers your special attack. Right, okay. Um... We also have Dragon Pulse, which uh, only does front, unfortunately. And Heat Wave. Heat Wave would be very interesting. Um, a Fire-type move on a Dragon Ground-type. 
I mean, if anything... Well, I, mean, I, I also have to remember, I have to pay a lot. Um, I think I'll just save my money for now. I just thought I'd at least look for now. I mean, I'm probably going to do a lot of things off screen as well. Uh, let's deposit all but 2,000. I might try to go for, like, uh, high dungeons as well. Oh, wait, no, this is all the Pokemon. This is all I want to. Yeah, wait, put it all the way up. There, that's what I want to do. I'm like, no, I'm only going to keep 2,000. I only want to deposit 2,000. Okay, uh, another thing I guess we can do for the rest of this episode is go and evolve some Pokemon, because why not? It's always cool to see some Pokemon evolve. Unfortunately, I, it's hard to freaking find these crystals. Okay, so Sela can evolve. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I, oh, there you go, I'm gonna evolve too. So Snorunt here is gonna be the only one I don't evolve. The only time I'm gonna evolve that Snorunt is when I get the. Um, is when I get stuff for. Uh, or the crystals for. Frostlass. Yes, evolve. Looking a little different right there. You know, okay, bud? You, you look a little different. Uh, change your, uh, no. Let's go have a Dugon, though. I am making progress through this game. But yeah, probably the next episode, I'll probably go and try for uh, Groudon. Looks a little different. And it's a Weezin! I think I could have evolved him before, but for some reason I guess I didn't think about it. And then Aeron, finally evolving into Laron. It'll probably be still a while before he evolves into Agron. But then think about it, he can probably learn like Flamethrower. I know for a fact that freaking Agron can learn like a freaking fire type move. Flamethrower or something like that, so you know. Uh, evolve again, why do we always go back here? And then bag on. Snow run, you wait until this snow run wait until uh geez. Snow Run can be nice and powerful as well already, but I'm deciding to wait until I it's either that or I find another Shadow Ball TM for uh for the other snow run. Uh so no. Okay. I should also check. Okay, so you need up to level 50. Okay, that's going to be a while. Huh, 32 is when you evolve. 50, 45. Hmm, I see the nice difference. Uh, I need 4. Oh no, I only need 2. Okay, that's good. Uh, you only need a couple more levels anyways. Uh, for Brava, this one don't even need to. You have 10 levels. You need evolution crystals. You're close to Swampert. Uh, and then evolution crystals all around. You're 55, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, you were the one I also wanted to check for moves. Dragonair. Probably because I was thinking about Dragonair at the time as well. So it's like, you know. Uh, oh boy, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of training to do. Huh, I still can't see all the Pokemon. Wasn't there another one I wanted to check? Huh, whatever. Okay, I'm outie. Only thing left to do is kind of get rid of that Vibrava that I have because he is not needed no more. No offense, Vibrava, but uh, I only need one of each Pokemon. Okay, well, uh, green, you are fine. So if I see uh, Crown type, if I see like, you know, if I see the certain Pokemon, there we go. Alright, Vibrava, time to go. Say goodbye forever. Hey, look at him, he looks so worried. He's like, don't send me back out there. You evolved me! No! It's sad, but whatever. I'm out for the strong. I'm like Paul now. I, I have to think about the strong stuff. And then C4. Thanks. I like how you didn't go to freaking 50 like the other ones. Okay, and then we have like Nugget and Haunter and stuff like that. That's cool. 
But uh, yeah, I might try to go for like uh, all the tougher dungeons again in uh, later times, just so I can uh, do that. Um, I could probably just try to go for tougher dungeons in general with, uh, you know, slowly, now that I'm actually doing pretty well. Um, I'm definitely not going to try Southern Cavern. Might try you. Uh, do I have stuff for Mount Blaze in Lapis Cave? That's what I'm also wondering. Mount Blaze, Lapis Cave, yes I do. So, won't be bad to, even though they don't give the best rewards, get some jobs done, I guess, for later. I like how you guys are just kind of standing here. But, uh, okay. But I guess I'll end things here. Uh, you know, pretty good. We gained a lot of new friends, got some more uh, stuff done. I think uh, this episode went pretty well, pretty well, all in all. And in the next video, we will try for Groudon, because we can pretty much already access Groudon if you want to, so... You know, we'll pick out a good Entourage or Pokemon that we can use uh, to go up against him, and... You know, just try to go for the same strat we did with, um... Kyogre, but luckily this time we don't have to go through so many floors as well, so... There you go. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe to whatever. And I'll see you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. Unfortunately, the boy being here.